Hi, this is Salman Ladana and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 154 for the manual of PCI. This is a case of uh, three complications happening during the same procedure. The patient presented with non ST elevation myocardial infarction, diagnostic angiography, shows no significant disease in the circumflex. However, he did have a significant lesion in the mid LAD. There was no significant disease in the right coronary artery, and therefore the plan was to perform PCI of the LAD. We did predilate with a 2.5 by 12 millimeter balloon. And then this is how the lesion looks afterwards, which has some significant improvement. But if we look at the image, there's something else going wrong. And this is the point of interest. We do have haziness into the proximal LAD. And this is a different picture that highlights that we do have an area of haziness, likely a dissection from the guide into the proximal LAD. Fortunately, the circumflex was not affected, so a wire was placed in the circumflex, but we do have a diagonal that the ostium is close to the area of dissection. So I could vessel closure, what to do? The most important thing, if we have wire position already in the vessel, is to keep the wire where it is, find the cause, and the key causes are dissection and thrombosis or embolization, and then see if the patient becomes hemodynamically unstable and requires hemodynamic support. In this particular case, this was most likely a case of dissection. Likely dissection from deep engagement of the guide catheter. We did have a wire in the vessel, and therefore the treatment is to place a stand. However, because the diagonal was within the area of dissection and we didn't want to lose it, we decided to place a wire in the diagonal, and fortunately, we were able to place another workhorse wire into the diagonal branch. There was no loss of blood flow into the LAD, and the patient, fortunately, remained hemodynamically significant despite the proximal LAD dissection. This is the stand. It's a 3.5 by 15 millimeter drug eluting stand. We're jailing the wire into the diagonal. We placed the stent, and uh, we did have a good result into the LAD. The dissection has been covered. However, there is another problem now, which is that we have pinched the ostium of the diagonal branch. So this is an example where one thing that is not positive brings another thing. So here we have pinching of the ostium of the diagonal. We decided to first treat the LAD, so we placed a 2.5 by 30 millimeter stent that uh, was placed across another diagonal branch. However, there was no cessation of flow in the diagonal. And then we decided to treat this. We tried to avoid placing stents in smaller branches like this one, so we decided to just balloon the side branch. We rewired the vessel, and then ballooned in a kissing balloon inflation with a 3.5 into the LAD and a 2.0 into the diagonal branch. And this gave actually a satisfactory result. So we thought it would be done. However, the problems keep piling up. And this is problem number three. Now, we do have a filling defect into the ostium of the circumflex. Fortunately, we did have the wire placed in the circumflex, and we did the intravascular ultrasound. And this showed this, uh, this uh, tissue versus thrombus versus tissue protrusion into the ostium of the circumflex. It's the LAD stand, and that material is actually right at the carina. And the same thing can be seen when we use uh, chromaflow. So what to do? We weren't sure if this was plaque protrusion or if it was um, uh, tissue prolapse or thrombus formation, but we decided to place another stand. So this was a 4.0 by 18 millimeter um, or zero that was deployed across the ostium of the LAD. We did a proximal optimization technique, rewired the LAD, and did kissing balloon inflation. And this provided an excellent result in the left main. But the problems did not stop. The same filling defects we saw now, we see them into the LAD stand that was recently placed. Of note, the patient had not received P2Y12 inhibitors until the beginning of the percutaneous coronary intervention. So this might be one of the reasons for these complications, which seems to be acute uh, stent thrombosis. So what we do now, when we have thrombus, sometimes we give more aggressive and dipedal therapy, either with 2B3 inhibitors or cangrelor. We can do a thrombectomy, do balloon angioplasty, and sometimes even do standing. In this particular case, we did have a stand in place. We did give a cangrelor to allow for the ticagrelor to take effect. 
and then we did uh, uh, penumbra thrombectomy followed by angioplasty of the LAD. And this uh, provided a nice result again into the LAD. And the IVUS done afterwards uh, did show a nice result into the LAD as well as the left main. The stent is well expanded all the way back into the main. So in the end, we did have a good result. The patient, however, did have more stents that we had initially planned. And this case, this case provides us with several lessons. The first one is that uh, having a deep engagement of the guide catheter may lead to dissection. So that's uh, something to always keep in mind and try to minimize how deep uh, the guide catheter is engaged. If a dissection happens, it is critical to keep the wire position and place a stand shortly, as happened in this case. The second problem was compromising the ostium of this diagonal branch after placing a stand. Fortunately, we did have a wire in it. So what we ended up doing is rewiring and doing a kissing balloon inflation that uh, restored good T3 flow into this branch. The third problem we have, likely both into the circumflex and into the lady, was acute thrombosis, acute thrombus formation, likely because this patient who presented with a non-ST elevation ACS had not been pretreated several hours prior with a P2Y12 inhibitor. What was done is we gave uh, a more intensive, a more potent P2Y12 inhibitor intravenously, specifically we gave Cangrelor. And then we did uh, penumbra thrombectomy and balloon angioplasty of the LAD, but uh, we ended up placing a stent into the left main and the circumflex as we were not sure if this was actually thrombus or plaque protrusion from the standing into the LAD. But in the end, the patient did have a final good result despite all the previous challenges. Thank you.